exactly. Gambians. We also have uh, trained about 10 Gambians in Germany, oh. and these are all training in technical aspects of aviation. So the so whole thing has been indigenized, Gambianized. It is a Gambian airline. This is where it starts. We are flying under the Gambian flag, and we have to make sure that the Gambians future well in this project. So me. training mm -hmm. is a focal point for us. Mm -hmm. It is a very important point for us. Mm -hmm. Hopefully very soon you will see even the cabin crew on Gambia Bird will be Gambians. Mm -hmm. We have plans to also train Gambian technical me mechanics, av aviation mechanics, mm -hmm. who would also contribute to the success of this airline. So be rest assured that as much as uh, we have a German backup behind us, we are proud to be Gambians, proud to be in involved in this. And uh, a focal point of this airline is its Gambianism. Gambianism. The support we have received from government. Yes. I think uh, government has realized mm -hmm. how strategic this project is for this country. Mm -hmm. And from day one, mm -hmm. from the top to in yes. all yes. sectors of the Gambian uh, public service, civil yes. service, mm -hmm. public enterprises, mm -hmm. and uh, we've received tremendous support. They've been with you all the way through. Gambia Civil Aviation has been supportive. They have checked that we are running a safe operation, mm -hmm. but um, they've also really helped us to establish the, an airline that conforms to the rules and regulations of aviation under ICAO mm -hmm. laws, which are the laws that govern the Gambian um, aviation sector. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to thank, take this opportunity to thank the, His Excellency the President mm -hmm. for all the support he has given us. Mm -hmm. We'd like to thank uh, also um, the Vice President. She received us in November oh. when we, when the first team from uh, Germania Express visited the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And we would like to also singularly thank mm -hmm. the Minister of Tourism who has been our really? biggest advocate. Yeah. We also <laughs> would like to thank the Minister of Works and Communication who has also supported us tremendously. Mm -hmm. So you see, once there is good synergy between government and the private sector, we will move this country to forward. We have a strong government, and once you have a strong private sector that is also supporting the work of government, I think this there is, there is a very, very bright future for this country. Thomas Wazinski is the chief executive officer of Gambia Bad. My comment means congratulations to the Gambia. Your national carrier has arrived today, and I would like to express my, my very deep thanks to the honorable ministers, to the government of the Gambias, to my team here in the Gambia, to our partners in Germany, as well as to the shareholder of the Germania Group in Germany, Ms. Bischoff, Mr. Eric Bischoff, and we all made it happen today. So it was a hard work, but we are very happy and I'm very proud today. Now tell me, this journey was have begun a long way back, but now that you are here, what can we expect from the Gambia Bad? We can, okay, this is the first step mm -hmm. uh, in the new, let's say, a, the baby is now born and, and, and it has to learn to, to, to fly. Wow. So there's a lot of work ahead of us, but I'm convinced that we will make it. Mm -hmm. And if we concentrate all our efforts on the product and on all these things which are related to, I'm totally convinced this will be a huge success for Gambia Bird mm -hmm. and for the Gambia as well. <laughs> It's a cooperation agreement linking two world-class destinations moving to advance the gains of a burgeoning industry. A moment for smiles and celebrations as pen was put to paper, appending signatures, sealing and cultivating ties which will see Banjul and Ankara mutually working together to improve travel and tourism, a major factor of socio-economic development in both countries. In the area of tourism and culture, Turkey is a long-time friend of the Gambia and uh, has actually collaborated with the Gambia and provided assistance in the area of education and defense uh, for many years. And there are a number of Gambian students studying in Turkey. It is therefore very gratifying that this morning or this afternoon, we are gathered here to sign yet another memorandum of understanding this time in the area of tourism and culture. Turkey and the Gambia share a lot in common when it comes to tourism. It's the beginning of what is expected to culminate into an exchange of experiences, cultures, models, and plans to attract investment and more opportunities in the tourism and travel sector. 
Tourism Minister Fatima Asgio Pinjai. The broadening of the collaboration between the Gambia and Turkey in the field of tourism is expected to improve our products because they're very good in product development. They spend a lot of money in their heritage side. Advan uh, they have 5,000 hotels, and 2,000 of those hotels are five star. We also expected an improvement in our human resource capacity because they do have hotel schools. They also have they're the champions in terms of hotel classification human resource development, and of course investment. They will open doors for investment opportunities in the field of tourism in the Gambia. Because in terms of investment, they ranked, I think, about 10 in the world out of about 181 countries that were surveyed. So they're doing quite good. And they have reached a point whereby they're looking at other destinations to expand to. And why not the Gambia? In Turkey, the quest continues to advance one of the greatest success stories in global tourism and hospitality, making this agreement the perfect avenue for the small nipples to learn from an exemplary model of a world-class destination, attracting nearly half a million visitors annually. So this agreement is an important uh, step for both of our countries. And through this agreement, I expect that also uh, Turkish tourists find Gambia as a destination. Till today, uh, no Turkish tourists are arriving to Gambia, but because they don't know Gambia, and they only know to Europe, to go Europe or to Asia. But Turkish, Turkish people are looking for uh, new destinations. So this agreement will give us the opportunity to present Gambia as the safest country in the whole Africa. Over the years, as was stated by the permanent secretary, Gambia and Turkey had, you know, good relationship, but it was only limited, you know, to in the area of defense. But with the opening of, you know, embassies, both in Turkey and in in, the, in, in Banjul, you know, we want to expand that cooperation and, you know, into various fields, you know, investment, education. And now with the signing of this MOU, you know, it will open up, you know, further cooperation in the area of tourism. With tourism immensely contributing to the economies of both countries, the drive to take it to greater heights persists unceasingly, taking a significant turn, fusing two destinations with somewhat similar attributes. The Gambia comes all in land from a destination that did extremely well in tourism under the biggest financial crisis to ever hit the world. That's travel ahead, voyaging with the times on this Marlin coast, closing this week's edition of the expedition. But do continue to join us. The expedition is on a brand new season, characterizing the delightful disposition of the Gambia. Don't forget you can watch this program and many more on our website at www.grps.gm.